Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Let's take a look at the view. It is gorgeous out there right now. Just a real nice temps, light breezes along the bay, and it's pretty flat, uh, about as flat as you'll see out on the Pacific Ocean right now with waves uh, less than three feet, about two feet out at the buoys, way outside. Inside, it's dead flat. Today's temps, a mix of 60s, 70s, and 80s throughout Santa Cruz uh, into Watsonville, Coralitas at 77, upper 80s, Morgan Hill, Gilroy. All the temps were up a few degrees today, and you know that's the trend and where we're headed is up, up, and more up. 86, King City, 76 in Salinas this afternoon, and a mix of upper 60s, low 70s. Part of that, of course, at the coast was no low clouds, no fog, so that made it feel a lot different. Here's the way it looked this morning. You can see this little patch here off the bay, and uh, you'll notice you're going to see a couple of things here. This is going to disintegrate, and then we're going to see some fog coming up on the San Mateo coast this afternoon. And there's a reason for that. Nobody else had anything, though, because we got a little area of low pressure that's spinning up to our north. And you can see how the low clouds are spinning around there, and they're starting to come back at us. So we'll see how close they get later tonight. We may see a little more in the way of low clouds. As that low goes north, and it's doing that right now, you can see everything's coming up from the south. And unfortunately, that's a dome or a bubble of warmth and dry air that's headed our way. Another little weak front out here, which really isn't going to be uh, much of a factor for us. It's all going to be warmth, heat, sun. And unfortunately, some really high temperatures eventually. Uh, these are our temperatures in the upper atmosphere, so we can kind of track as the heat builds in. Tomorrow, no huge changes. We'll be up a few degrees. You can see it'll be warm. This is all 80s, 90s, and getting close to 100 in the Central Valley. But watch what happens on Thursday. You'll notice the heat really starts to expand. Now we're talking 100 to 110 uh, in the Central Valley, with some spots warmer than that. And on Friday, even more so, an expansion of that heat as it works its way back to the coast. The questions will be how hot will it get in places like Monterey, Salinas, and Santa Cruz, which are always tricky because, of course, this ocean water is really, really cold. So all you need is a little bit of a breeze to moderate those temperatures. For tomorrow, 99 in Sacramento, 102, 101 Bakersfield, but 115 in the desert. So that warmth is starting to build. 98 in L.A. tomorrow with middle and upper 80s, Los Angeles and Santa Barbara. <clears throat> Excessive heat warnings already up because it's already hot in these places, as you just saw from Fresno down to Bakersfield, all of Southern California, an excessive heat warning through Monday, so they won't see any relief for a while. And now for us, we're under an excessive heat watch, which means we're watching for heat to build in. It's not hot yet, but it will become hot in the coming days. There are no advisories out yet because it's just a little too early. We're not really expecting the highest of the heat to come until Saturday, although Thursday and Friday will start to get pretty toasty in a few spots. 50 to 60 tonight, so temperatures will drop off certainly tonight under mostly clear skies. Then the bay low clouds fog come in in the early morning tomorrow. 60s, middle and upper 70s coast tomorrow. Nice day there. Upper 70s to low 90s, still pretty seasonable for everybody for tomorrow afternoon. So again, the heat really doesn't get going until later in the week. 69 San Francisco, 84 in San Jose, Santa Cruz Mountains. Uh, we do have a little fire up there, so we're keeping track of that. Thankfully, it's not going to be that hot in the next 24 hours. Thankfully, if we're going to have a fire, today is a lot better of a day to have it than in the next two or three days when it's going to be over 100 up there. 60s coast, 70s, 80s, Coralitas, low 90s out towards the Santa Clara Valley, including Gilroy, Morgan Hill, Hollister, 87, low 70s here in Salinas, low to middle, upper 80s through King City, 92. So you can see that trend of temperatures heading upward each and every day. 60s, low 70s along the bay with an 81 in Carmel Valley. Taking a look at your KSBW eight-day forecast. Uh, nothing but warmer temperatures right now at the coast. I'm not ruling out temperatures to get into the middle and upper 90s, but we're just going to have to see as we get a little bit closer. But I think the beach certainly is going to be a lot cooler uh, than the inland valleys. Now, by Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I have those as what we'll call um, nuisance days, basically, because it's going to be hot enough that you're going to probably have to reorganize doing things when it's right. 105, you know, there are certain parts of our population that aren't going to do well right. in those kinds of temperatures. So if you're planning outdoor activities and you're going to be in San Jose and Campbell, yeah. you know, Saratoga, places like that, if it gets up 105, you know, you do not want to be out in the sun, you know, having the barbecue. Right. That's a little too hot. And it could be in some of those cases that it could see 110. So then you're starting to get into dangerous heat. And you yeah. know, even in some places in South Monterey County, a lot of those uh, folks don't have air conditioning, so they really have to think about what they're going to do to try and stay cool. And successive days of it really right. start to wear folks down. So we'll get into more of that as we get a little closer. All right. Let's take a look at our weather quiz. Okay, let's do it. So if you, it, how long would it take 
for the interior of your car to reach 114 degrees if it was, let's say, 95 degrees out, which we see often in parts of our area. Ten minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. It takes no time. That's it. You know, that's you going in, as we talked about earlier, yeah. maybe grab your dry cleaning or you stop to get a gallon of milk. Can't leave your pets. Or Certainly kids. not your children. You just can't do it. You just can't leave them at all because yeah. you might get a phone call on your cell phone and then all of a sudden 10 minutes goes by and right. your car is 100, you know, close to 120 degrees. Right. That's not good. Not good. No. All right. Thanks, Lee. You're welcome.